Now, our reporter Hassan Mugambi is uh, at the DCI headquarters where all the suspects are currently being held and now just uh, joins us live with the latest details on that uh, developing story. Hassan, good afternoon. Uh, perhaps uh, you can tell us uh, whether we are aware of uh, some of the charges that these suspects are facing as they get ready to be arraigned in court tomorrow. Well, thank you very much, Joey. We are not aware as at yet, so we have not taken a look at the charge sheet, but we anticipate that they will be uh, be charged by uh, graft-related uh, offences. That is, uh, you know, uh, the loot of public money or misappropriation of uh, public money. That is, uh, after the uh, grilling that is happening here today. Currently, we are waiting for uh, the arrival of Anne Giriti. Remember the lady who... Uh, received 60 million shillings from uh, the National Youth Service and said that she did not quite supply anything. Uh, she did not even explain, uh, or she had a very rough time explaining what exactly she supplied for her to receive the nine, uh, the, 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 the 59 or 60 million shillings. She has been arrested this morning together with her mother, uh, her brother and her sister, and they are making their way here. They will be. Uh, they are getting to this uh, place any time from now. Currently, inside there is uh, uh, the DG, uh, that is uh, Richard Dubai, the NOS DG, who is uh, currently being grilled, as well as uh, the PS uh, in uh, the Youth Affairs Ministry, that is Lillian Omolo, who surrendered herself uh, to the police after learning that they were camped at her house here in Nairobi uh, seeking to arrest her. She wasn't there uh, uh, according to reports that we are receiving from family members. She was not present. So she uh, got to surrender herself uh, together with her lawyers uh, here at uh, the DCI. They are being questioned and we are expecting uh, that uh, they will be presented to court after that. But then again, with the kind of uh, uh, trend that we are seeing here at the DCI and the kind of timings that we are seeing right now, it is already past you know uh five minutes past one uh, it, it could be very very late for them to uh be presented before a court of law so we are expecting that the, uh, the dci will be seeking uh, uh to go into court uh to seek uh you know uh, uh on a, to, to seek so that uh, they get more time uh to hold the suspect the custodial orders so that they are not in uh infringing their habeas corpus that is uh that which uh, requires uh, the the law that requires the, uh, the suspect to be presented before a court of law within 24 hours of his be or her being arrested. All right, thank you very much. That's our reporter Hassan Mugambi uh, reporting live from the DCI headquarters, keeping us up to date uh, on some of the happenings there regarding the suspects that are currently being held, uh, expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Now let's take a look at the names of some of the 17 suspects so far uh, arrested in connection with the NYS scam.